at this time of year with Christmas almost upon us, I'm sure you've got a million and one things to think about, I know I do. Perhaps wine is last on your list, let alone worrying about how to match wines with your Christmas lunch or that all important cheese board. Now I'm joined now by Gerard Basset, who is a top sommelier and he's going to talk us through what we could be drinking with our Christmas lunch this year. So. Uh, Welcome. Thank you for joining us, uh, Gerard. Yeah, That's really nice to much. have you here. Obviously, champagne is a must at Christmas. Yeah, I think I would say, uh, you know, to start, it's a special uh, day. You want to really start uh, with something, you know, festive. So champagne, yes, definitely. And what time is it OK to have champagne on Christmas Day? <laughs> Any time, really. <laughs> Actually, it's quite nice. You know, you prepare breakfast, uh, you mm -hmm. open a bottle of champagne. You don't have to have a lot, but just yeah. a little glass. And, and you can put orange juice, but I think it's better to put it just straight, natural, you know, good champagne. Wonderful. So what do you look for in a good champagne? Well, in good champagne, you want something maybe who has a bit of character, so slightly brady on the nose, you know, slightly, so just show a little bit of maturity. Mm -hmm. And on the palate, quite creamy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's not too sharp, is it? It's nice no. and no, creamy, yes. as you said. Mm. Uh, so we're moving on then. I suppose a lot of people have smoked salmon for starter. Yes. What would you drink with the smoked salmon? You can drink uh, many types. I think uh, uh, what you want is a uh, fresh, crisp, uh, dry white. So if you don't want it too uh, perfume, too aromatic, then maybe go with something like a Chablis. Mm -hmm. You could go. But here we've got a Riesling. So oh, the Riesling we have yeah. from Alsace. Okay. So here you have dry. But a lot of flavor, quite, you know, you get slightly floral, slightly limey, uh, you get all this, a uh, lot of fruit, like, uh, say, stony fruit, mm -hmm. quite perfume. Yeah. And also sometimes you get a slightly white truffle when it's a bit more evolved. Yeah. Because okay, that's the great thing with Christmas, isn't it? You can have a bottle, per course. Why and not? everybody gets to try a different yes, wine with a different know, course, mixing it, up the wines a little bit. Exactly, because you, normally your family or guest or friend Suddenly so you are at least you know, six, eight, maybe more. Yeah. So a good white, good Riesling to start. What about the main then? What do we move on to? Do we keep it white or do we then move on to a red? No, or do I we keep the red for dessert maybe? No, I would go for a red with the main course. Or you mm -hmm. can do, you know, um, for Christmas, but obviously the turkey, but you could have some, you know, can have a roast beef. You mm -hmm. could have uh, also maybe a duck, mm -hmm. a goose, you know. You want something with a bit of a uh, flavor and uh, Power. Okay. And I think there. So, what have you got for us here? We have got a wonderful Bordeaux. Right. So, God. smell it. it smells mm. of Christmas. Mm. It smells of cedar box, you know, uh, tobacco, cigar, also a lot of fruit, of course, uh, quite a lot of black fruit. And then now. You taste it. It's quite a powerful wine. You can feel the tannins, they are ripe. So, obviously, a wine you need food. You need food because it's going to cut through. So if you're having beef, you're having turkey, you know, excellent wine. So this is a really lovely red. Mm. Would you carry this through to mince pies and say Christmas pudding? No, I think with mince pies and Christmas pudding, you would want uh, really a dessert wine. Mm. And France produces some lovely dessert wine. So you could uh, go for instance for wine like say uh, Saucignac, uh, Sauterne, Barzac, maybe a Jurançon. Of course from the Loire, you could mm -hmm. have wonderful uh, Vouvray, uh, uh, sweet Vouvray, you could have some Coteau du Léon, I mean just wonderful wine. and. For the cheese, then, um, you know, you could stay with a red wine, but I prefer to move maybe uh, something like a Mori, which is a red uh, fortified wine from oh, okay. the, the Roussillon. That would be also, or even some of the sweet wine I mentioned could go with mm. the cheese, definitely, especially if you have a blue cheese, for instance. Mm. So. It's, it's just like a journey, isn't it? Mm. So we go from the champagne to the white to mm. the red, then moving on to the cheese. Mm. It's, it is a Christmas mm. journey. Mm ready to sleep in front of a tea. <laughs> yeah, um, just in general, are there any French wines that stand out that you could enjoy over Christmas? Oh, there are plenty. I mean, mm -hmm. for instance, if you wanted to go for, um, a, um, to start with a, a white wine, something a bit special, then you could go for a Chablis Grand Cru, you could move uh, maybe something like a white Hermitage, or even a white Chateau Neuf du Pape, which is a bit unusual, because they don't produce many. And um, yes, for the red wine, and maybe a Côte Rôti, maybe a Gevray Chambertin, maybe a, a Top Bordeaux from Pauillac, Saint Julien. Uh, so the list is endless, really. Endless list mm. of brilliant French wines. Thank you so much for joining me today, Gerard. You've you really much. cleared up my Christmas wine woes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Santé. <laughs>